Here is some information about working with loops in sonar. You can call them samples or sound bites. I've imported a wave file of a drum pattern. Have a listen. I'm going to use this to show you some tricks here. I'm going to begin by highlighting exactly two bars, and then I'll click here to loop the highlighted region. Now as you listen, you can see that that doesn't match up well, it doesn't make a good splice. Now here, by simply clicking on the wave file, I want you to notice that it's not exactly two bars that's highlighted now. If I loop this section, it'll loop just what's in the wave file. As you listen to that, you'll notice it's better, but still the loop point isn't just quite right. Let me show you why. Some loops are not very well made, and this one's no exception. If I zoom in on the front of it here, you will see that there's a small amount of silence before we come to the first beat. So I'll trim that off and slide it up to the right measure. Now before I turn it into a groove clip, I'll just test it that way again. I'll highlight the wave file and loop the section. Now that loop is working really well. Supposing I wanted to put this to the tempo of my song. Let me put on the metronome so that we can hear what my tempo sounds like compared to where the loop is now. It's close, but it's certainly not right on. I'm going to turn off the loop and right click on the wave file and apply groove clip looping. Here it tells me there's hidden data which will not be included. That's because I took that piece off the front of it. Now we can roll out this groove clip and you shouldn't even be able to tell where the seams are. Sounds good to me, and also now we can change the tempo of this, and that groove clip will keep up with us. That was 100. Let's try 150. Here's a good way to show you how it keeps up with the tempo. I'm going to set our tempo back to 120. And then I'm going to view the tempo view where we can make changes in the tempo. I'm going to make it very extreme just to illustrate. And from the main screen. Okay, that's pretty silly stuff, but I guess you see the point. Now let's talk about single hits. Here's a snare drum. If you want your loops to be well in sync, you've really got to check the front of these to make sure there's no space. Now you don't want to cut the wave file off, you don't want an abrupt start, but just find a place where you can get in there. The closer they are, the better they're going to sound, and the tighter your loops will be. I hope this has been a help. Have fun!